this is essentially it. The painting's not really finished because the three times I was stopped working, I got a little disheartened, I guess. Um, anyway, uh, this is supposed to do what the LED is about to do, although the LED doesn't really um, do the same type, but pretty much I have this proximity sensor right here. Oh, I'll explain what happened. Um, there's something like a transformer and some other components in here. Uh, that this is the driver for the electroluminescent right, wire. That basically go give power to the electroluminescent wire. But there's this incredibly small ground on here. I don't know if you guys can see that. I can't. It's like one little like strand of wire. It's really crazy. Um, there are actually a couple, but it's just so hard to get to that I kept cutting them. And I think when I cut, when I tried to cut into that, I scraped off some of the phosphate that covers the wire. That's what makes it glow. Um, and I, I think that that ultimately created a short. So last night, when I was double checking everything worked for the presentation, um, there was a little explosion in my driver. I don't know if you uh, can see that it's warped. I didn't know. Thank goodness it was in that. I had no idea. Did it smell bad? Yeah, I, I kept smelling something really funny. I, I was with a friend and he was like, no, I don't smell anything, I don't smell anything. So I'm checking everything, can't figure out why it won't work. And uh, because the relay was working, everything was working out. And the driver was too hot to pick up. So anyway. Um, Did the feature work? God, you make me nervous. Uh, Is it, and the electroluminescent give you a good shot. So in a way you're lucky it just burned up, not you. Yeah. Well, I've Remember I got that myself. shot. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, um, basically this proximity sensor is supposed to be down here at the bottom. If you can't see it, it's on the Everything is installed on the back of the canvas. Um, I don't know if someone wants so to So tell, tell them what was going to happen. Well, I mean, it'll, it should still work if we look at this LED. Okay. Who's going to be the someone approacher? Wants, like, approach. This thing works. And walk, walk away. Walk away. The thing is, you have to. You have to be. I you know, there may be too many of them. Everyone, clear away behind her. In front of this sensor. Oh, and the LED actually only shows two different. I don't know why, but it'll only show two different um, delays, full, full saving speeds. Right. Uh, the EL wires showed a lot more. But anyway, you gotta walk. I don't know why it's not working. But maybe come up like right. No, no, no. Everyone else has got to, you really got to have it because it's reading. Oh, that's why. It's not mm -hmm. what, oh. <laughs> well, of that. Okay, now go ahead and try. All right. Oh. And uh, it doesn't really do it justice on an Arduino board. It gives us some idea of what it would be like the hardest, faster to get closer. Right, right. And it, it, it simulates a little bit of anxiety, I guess. I don't know. I, I really wanted to put a piece in that CIA show a while back, and I couldn't think of what I would want to put up there because I really, um, I haven't really established myself with the medium or a lot of artwork. Like, it's all really new to me, and I felt, um, felt hindered. Just everyone was way above me and I heard some people talking about some things and that made me nervous about putting my artwork on the wall because anyone could put their work up and I thought that was uh, that, that really made me anxious. So I kind of thought about um, putting that anxiety in the painting itself so that when people approached it they could actually see so the way they're making me feel. Right. <laughs> right. I, I think it's something It's interesting. It's like um, the way that the wires are, are sort of separate, or they're sort of included in it, um, but in a way that you sort of get that there's something going on. I wonder if it was a little more organic to it, you know, that it started pulsing, but... Mm -hmm. I just you like couldn't the, see the wires? I mean, yeah, so, the, so we were, I wasn't, like, totally sure of that, you know, and also it might you bring me in to get closer, that might, like, you know, like, I want to see what's going on, and then it starts to, to pulsate. Right. I mean, the idea is that it just naturally would be... Just pulsating fine without anybody right. without anybody trying to experience whatever was in the painting, and it's until they approach it that's when it really. So. Yeah, but you got that program working. That yeah, works. Everyone, if that's a range finder, they're not expensive. Um, there's two kinds. That one puts on an analog, so it's, it changes the analog depending on how close you are. 
So you really could use that. It would mm -hmm. cost like $15. It looks pretty cool in the dark, actually. I didn't, I was going to change. I mean, I I really didn't do much more with the painting. But I stopped a while ago. But um, I, I was going to put a background, and then I looked at it in the dark, and it just, the, the light just lights it up in the dark. It looks really great. It's really cool. Is it, it's analog, too. Or is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're, they're probably great. like, uh, five or six, basically, capacity uh, sensor picks up, oh, sorry, uh, it sends out uh, infrared light and it reflects off something, bounces back, and that's why it's going into five Yes. Yeah. Anyway, um, it's like radar. Yeah, and basically, depending on, depending on that angle of reflection, it outputs a voltage, and so from, you know, 0 to 1024, and then so I, I put increments, uh, and then I change the delays. Um, for each range or so. I did about four.